Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your end of November reading. I hope you are doing absolutely magnificent. All your decks have been pre-shuffled. We will be side shuffling the oracles though. We are gonna just jump straight into it. I'm using my standard nine card spread that I used to use for the monthlies and the, the mid-monthlies before. King of Wands, that's Leo Cancer. Seven of Coins is Virgo, or Taurus, I'm sorry, Taurus. Hierophant is Taurus. Eight of Wands, that's Sagittarius. The Lovers, Gemini. Taurus, again. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Two of Cups, Cancer, the World, the Fixed Signs, and the Ten of Coins. All right, Fixed Signs that I referred to here are Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. All right. Looking good. Looking good for the end of November. Let's do, let's do these ones first. Three cards for Sag, please. Gorilla, Peace, Tarantula, Connection, and Fruit, Bat, Flying Fox. <clears throat> it says Kindness, Kindness. Chemistry. Ooh, uh-oh. Card in reverse, we gotta deal with it. Got another card in reverse. Oh boy. Mm. All right, so let's start right off the bat. Let's talk about this. <laughs> kind of the elephant in the room. The finances in reverse, right? All right, Sagittarius. So first we're gonna we're gonna look at these two cards, which is actually very positive. So the Ten of Coins is about abundance, it's about peace, it's about stability, it's about happiness, it's about feeling content in a relationship. It's about feeling content on the financial front, having built your solid foundation, solid, secure future. I have a warning for you. We have finances and career in the reverse. Well, one that tells me that financial issues are currently not a problem in your relationship. <clears throat> However, this was brought out to us. So why was this brought out to, you, to us if you're not having financial struggles in a relationship? It could be that financial struggles are on the horizon, so please be sure to, to put some extra money aside just in case, okay? So, bear with me, Sagittarius, I'm moving around, <coughs> losing my voice. <laughs> so, financial concerns could become an issue, so you're going to have to watch out for that. You're going to have to be very cautious of that. Um, I just feel like this is a warning. There's no reason for them to have brought this card out for us at all. So it's a warning, put money aside. Consider it a stern warning, put money aside just in case. So we have someone that you feel very content with, somebody that you've been enjoying some time with, somebody who gives you that sense of peace, gives you that sense of contentment. But you're, you're not 100% certain on them. You have calling in your soulmate in the reverse. You may feel like you've met your soulmate, but once again, why didn't they give us the soulmate card? Why didn't they give us the soulmate card? Instead, they gave us this in reverse. 
So I'm just feeling like these are warnings. The warning would be, perhaps you feel like you've met your soulmate because everything seems to be going well right now, right? Everything seems to be going beautiful. Everything seems to be going well. The connection is lovely. You feel strongly connected. You feel a sense of peace. You feel a sense of kindness. You have a strong chemistry with this person. I mean, everything's going beautiful. Why give us the warnings, spirit? This looks beautiful. These look beautiful. But two warnings on the love front. And the only reason they're warnings is because spirit had no need to tell us about these. If you feel like you've met your soulmate, give us a soulmate card. We don't need this card. And when we see that here, we already have a soulmate card here, right? and here so why give us this in the reverse I feel like this is going to become a problem and I'll explain it in a minute all right so my <clears throat> minor worry minor warning worry to be concerned about Everything else looks absolutely stunning. Um, this particular person that you found in your life seems to be creating a nice sense of peace, a nice sense of togetherness. Um, it looks like you are gonna be entering into an exclusive relationship with this person. If you're already in an exclusive relationship, you're gonna be taking it up a notch. Um, I see that, you know, this search for somebody, the search for somebody here and this hope for somebody here is going to be coming to an end. It's like you found your person, okay? You found your person. But did you? Did you find your person? Or did you put looking for your person on hold because you found somebody that <clears throat> appears to be peaceful, appears to be you know, a decent connection, appears to be kind, could be a Leo or a Cancer. Um, somebody who appears to be a good match. Now, with the King of Wands, the King of Wands is somebody who's very action-oriented, very much an entrepreneurial spirit. That could be you, that could be this person. Um, strong sense of, of passion comes from this particular King of Wands. We see that here with chemistry. We do see a little bit of a waiting energy waiting to move this forward that could be on your side or their side it's kind of like well let me just see how this is going to go because i'm not too sure yet right we have beautiful communication between you and this person we have the wonderful offer to get together right we have this intense sexual attraction intense emotional attraction intense bond but yet we have a gotcha. We have a gotcha. So your entire reading is surrounding the lover's card. And the lover's card is about making a decision on the love front. So it looks like as you move into December, you're going to have to make a decision about this person. Are you going to be moving into a long-term committed relationship with, the, with them? Or are you going to put an end to the relationship with this person. I mean, everything seems great, right? Seems great here. Seems great everywhere. But Spirit's like giving us this massive warning. Massive warning. With these two cards and this. And this, really, technically. It feels like from these cards that you've put off looking for somebody new because it feels like maybe you found your your soulmate right but like I said they have no need to show us this unless the person you think is your soulmate may just be a nice peaceful connection 
right? May not be that otherworldly type of connection at all. Now, looks like you may have had some financial struggles in the past that is coming to an end, but I also see a lot of money going out. And so the concern here, since this came up on the, on the, the love front, is are you or your partner spending more money than is necessary? Are you going to be experiencing financial hardship in this connection that may not be the one that you are looking for? I think this is gonna surface. There's something here that's gonna surface with regards to money and this connection. So you need to be prepared for that. You need to be prepared for that. If, if this is your situation, you know you're seeing the signs, you're aware. If this is not your situation, you, you can dis disregard that. Everything looks fantastic. Except for this. So, it looks like Sagittarius, you're on the right track. Things are looking good, right? But you need to be prepared for whatever this is. So, like I said, with that stern warning, put some money aside. I have a feeling, I have a feeling a big expense is coming up. Um, if you have a partner that seems to be causing you to spend, 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 nip it in the bud quickly. Because the quicker you can kind of put an end to that, the quicker you can move past it. Because everything else looks beautiful. Everything else looks beautiful. All right. Love and light to you, Sagittarius. I'll see you soon. Bye. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.